What is going on, y'all? And welcome back to another video in Roblox. Now, before we jump into any of the off-roading that we're going to be doing in this video, a lot of people in the comments have been asking me to play a game called American Planes Mudding, and I will at some point, but I just wanted to show you guys what happens when I try to play that game. Literally, I go over it and I click play, and it's like, no, you're not allowed to play this game right now. But we do have a game lined up for today, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So as you guys can see, we are back on South Creek Mudding and Off-Road, and there's already some odd things going on. Someone has left a vehicle over there and just left it running and sitting at red line, and I don't think there's any way to turn it off. And there's also someone else that's running around in a really, really, really loud mud truck that's, like, I think just driving through the trees. Either way, we're gonna drive some vehicles that we ain't never driven before, and first of all, I think I wanna try the... Ooh, there's, like, there's so many options, dude. Like, the amount of options you have here are insane. This this thing, for example, it's literally like the game designates it as the Bounty Outy, and it, I don't know why they've called it that, but let's see where this vehicle spawns. I literally clicked spawn the vehicle, and oh, how much you want to bet it's actually up on top of the roof or behind the shop. Oh, it's behind the shop. Look at the Bruh. This thing is dumb. This thing is huge. Um, are you going to actually operate it? Oh my god, come on. Can you, can you please? No, I'm not trying to climb the tree, dude. Okay, thank you. All right, so now let's put it in first and use the clutch to get going. Although, here's the problem with that. You apparently can't go backwards, like, or sorry, you can't go forwards here. Um, you can't go forwards or backwards, apparently. Wow, this was like the worst place ever to actually spawn this in at. All right, um, can we, can we go? Oh my god, can we- Dude, can we go? I'm literally using the clutch and everything like the game wants you to, but it's- It's like, no. You're not gonna go anywhere, actually. You're- You're gonna stay right here. You're gonna stay put. Okay. Oh, see, but now you work. Oh, there we go. Oh, what? Okay. All right. Yeah, no, we're deleting that. We're going around the front of the shop, we're deleting the vehicle, and we're trying again because- those trees made it so, like, ridiculous to get out of there. Alright, spawn the vehicle one more time. Same vehicle, and... God, this thing must be, like, magnetized to the freaking woods. Where are you going? I didn't tell you... I, dude, I did not tell this thing to go that way. Not in any way, shape, or form. Alright, see, now it works. See, it even... Oh my god, the steering angle is kind of stupid. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go into first, and we're gonna see how many mud pits we can make our way through before we either completely destroy this thing, or get it so covered in mud that it's, like, not recognizable anymore. Now, this was at one point a Can-Am Outlander, apparently. Not really so much anymore. Let's go this way. See what kind of mud we can find. Alright, shift it up. Shift it up again. Hey, there's that campsite that we found on the other, uh, the, the last time we were here. Alright, let's- Whoa! Well, all right, well, trees, apparently. Back it up! Come on, come on, come on! This is so much- Oh, there we go, there's our first mud pit. Oh, yep, now it's, well, immediately covered in an unrecognizable amount of mud. All right, I'm gonna see if we can hit this next- I know there's a big mud pit coming up. I'm gonna see if we can hit it with some speed. There's fourth gear, come on! Oh! It bogged down a little bit. Oh, no! Oh, God! I think we got it stuck! Yo, I think we legit, like, got it stuck. I'm also not doing anything at all, and it's sitting at red line. Which I think is what happened to the other vehicle. That, like, yeah, no, look, it is sitting at red line. And, oh, I see. So it's, like, it must be actually legitimately stuck. All right, well, I guess we have to try again, because that is completely and entirely stuck. And I think that's what happened to that other vehicle that we can hear over there just continuously sitting at red line. I think someone spawned it in and then just left it and like spawned it in got it stuck left it there running and never ever ever reset it like legitimately never reset it i wonder if i can no you know what i'm not gonna go over there and mess with it i was gonna go over there and like mess with it and try to fix it but that's probably the worst idea i could possibly have all right so honda 520 i've never tried that let's see what you're all about now this thing actually looks fairly realistic. It looks fairly realistic and fairly usable. Uh, this thing just like starts moving right off the bat. All right, so let's see. Oh, yo, this thing's this thing's easy to drive. It just goes. Oh god, it's actually really fast though. Excuse me. 
Yeah, that's the one that's like been stuck sitting at redline. I think it's literally that side by side, the two door side by side, that's just stuck sitting at redline over there. All right, second attempt, come on. No, no. Dude, it's actually stuck again. Come on. I mean, I'm technically moving. I just don't know. Oh, God. It's pulling me closer and closer to this other guy. No. No. Oh, uh, yep. No, nope. it's completely stuck again. Dang. That's like the worst spot. Dude, that is legitimately the worst freaking spot. All right. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to come back here with a strategy, I think. Because without a strategy, there is no way we're going to be getting through that. Okay. So what do we need to use ATV-wise to get through there? There's the Outlander, the Red 420, the RZR... Which, let's see what you look like. Where, where is it? Oh, <laughs> it just kind of showed up out of nowhere. Good God. Um, well, that's legitimately massive. We have to climb up the tire to get in this thing. I didn't say get in the back. I said get in the front. Yo, things got a boost gauge. Holy, uh, well, there was a startup sound, but, um, no actual, uh, Oh, there's the engine sound. There's a startup sound, but no idle sound. Okay. Oh, there's actually like a blow off sound with the turbo. That's sick. Whenever you shift. All right, come on, let's go to the big butthole. Now I'm gonna need some run up for this or I could just, yeah, I'm just gonna send. Okay, now if we go around the middle, obviously we can get through it no problem, but I wanna see if we can get through the middle of it. All right, let's get a big run up back from the other end of the drag strip. All right, come on. This thing has multiple transmission modes, too. Oh, dude, absolutely just sent it through that time. All right. Dude, this thing rips. All right, let me back, let me back it all the way up. Well, before we fall off the edge of the map. All right, full send. We do have one guy, like, right there in the middle, but I don't know if we can... Uh, oh, no! There we go. Traction control off. Don't need that. Don't need that at all. It's making moves. Dude, we're about to get through. Oh my god, we're about to get through. Well, we were, and then we just hit, like, a snag. Oh no, we got it! Dude! Okay, that's pretty legit. Like, this thing was actually able to make its way out of that mud pit. That literally, so far, nothing else has been able to do. That's amazing! Alright, so, now that we know that this can make it through that... I think we need another trip to the dunes. Now, the first time we came out here, the vehicle we took through the dunes was very different from this. And I think this thing, with its tires being so massive, it's either gonna do really well or really bad. Uh, oh, that's the edge of the map, apparently. Does it not? Oh, there it, there it goes. I was like, does it not shift up automatically, like, when it's out here in the dunes or when the trash control is off? The physics are weird when it comes to jumping in this game. The physics are super weird because when it jumps, it feels like it feels like there's extra gravity. It feels like it's getting magnetically pulled back towards the ground. Holy It does rip though. Oh my god. I love driving this thing. This thing is awesome. Why can we not Why is there an invisible wall here? I thought that we were not able to make it out this far. Why are there weirdly placed invisible walls? How far can we go in this desert? Hold on. Come on, get some speed. Wait a minute. Yo, I thought this was like just visual. I did not think you'd be able to go this far out. What the heck? What's with all those weird invisible walls then? Oh, that's insane. Bro, okay, these dune jumps are pretty freaking awesome. Like, if you have not tried the dune jumps on this server, you absolutely have to. See, like, weird invisible walls like that that'll just, like, bounce you off. No idea why they're there. They seem a little bit pointless. Oh, ow. I thought I could make the jump. I could not make the jump. That was not a doable thing. All right, let me sneak back through here. Let's get one more try on this massive mud pit. There we go. Oh, really? Right as I'm going through, you spawn a giant Ford mud truck right in front of me. Okay. Added challenge, I guess. Yeah, that one spot, I don't know what they did with it, but, like, it's like they put, like, extra deep water right there or something that would make it harder for you to actually make any progress. Now, uh-oh. Okay, I could back up. I could back up. I just can't go back forward again. Come on. Oh. 
Oh, kind of stuck, kind of stuck, kind of stuck. Come on. Uh, easy. Dude, it is so stuck. It is so freaking stuck. Where are you? I mean, to be fair, it makes sense that he was able to get out as quick as he was. I mean, he is in a mud truck. I love the ABS is cutting in. And see, like, look how I can back up just fine, but I cannot go forward. Why does this thing have way more grip going backwards? Is it because the tires are on backwards on one side? That could technically have something to do with it. If you go through there with enough speed, you'll be fine. But, like, even if you don't, it's like it doesn't make sense sometimes as to why you can make it through versus can't make it through. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of Mudding in Roblox, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time.